David, I'm excited. Oh, are you? I'm excited oh. because we're here this week with Land Rover's new... Defender. 110. One, oh, 110. <laughs> David, the thing that I like about this new Defender is that they've finally, finally departed from that shape that they had for what 60 years 70 whatever it was since the endeavor came out anyway the old style was a very flat front fender and a round light well this now has some curvature to it but look at the feature here and down below look at that the, look again this is not flat but it's got much more architecture to it it has 110 written oh that's uh, that's coming up a bit look at that that decals coming up a bit let's I'll put that down I'll put a bit of spit on it. There we go. That's stuck down. There's this checkerboard pattern. Now this is just plastic. On the original, that would have been metal. And you can see some more of that checkerboard pattern here. And a nice big built-in snorkel. It, that just looks absolutely sensational. Can we talk about the tyres? The thing about the tyres is that uh, you've got a 20 inch rim but you've got a fair amount of uh, coverage here, it's a 60 profile. So if we open up the back door, you'll find that there's a place for your tablet and a little 5 volt USB. Down below there's also some more USBs including USB 3 and USB C. And then up here, a nice, generous map pocket. Mm. Behind you, there's two little windows as a nod to the previous model of Land Rover Defender. There's a lovely screw detail here on the doors as well. Do you know what that is? Oh, does that uh, note that you don't open the door if there's a vehicle there or it a won't large let you? friendly warning saying don't panic, that's what that is. Below that is one of the many, many Meridian speakers. And I think this leather is just absolutely beautiful. The thing that I do like is the good support under the thighs. The floor is covered with rubber mats. You don't want plush carpet if you're going to have muddy feet. We've got this absolutely enormous spare wheel on the back. And to get in, you just take this handle, pull it forward. This will actually lock anywhere. It's now locked. Over here, a hook for your bag and a place for the screens. We've got a 230 volt, 180 watt plug for your fridge. And inside the rear door, a little bit of a map pocket. And inside this is your safety triangle. And you can also see inside, that's where that white panel is on the outside. And the seats go down 40, 20, 40. David, if you would reverse back, I'm going to show the people at home what this reversing camera is like. We've got the 360 over here, but it also gives us various views. So you can see there what's happening at the back and at the side. So it's a simulated picture. So you can see there it's as if there's no bonnet and that's in the off-road mode so you can see exactly where your tyres are. This is the latest version of Jaguar's Touch Pro system and it's just swipe, you just use it like a phone. So we've now got it up on the page with navigation and so forth. But it's the rest of the cabin that I think is an absolute triumph, David. A triumph. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful, whereas the, the old version of this, frankly, looked a little bit... Uh, what word am I looking for? What am I struggling for, David? Oh, well, certainly dated and certainly... Oh, you're over... kind. You're kind. He's too kind. You're too kind. Over-functional. It was shite. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's be honest. It was absolutely shite. This one, it's got buttery soft leather. The engine is super smooth. We've got an eight-speed auto access with this little gear lever here. But look at this, this whole system, the way this is put out, this is delightfully off-road-ish. Down below, we've got some USBs, including a USB-C and a wireless charger. Wireless charging isn't standard. This has got four and a half thousand dollars worth of options to it. But David, not having 
standard uh-huh. wireless charging when you can have it in a bloody Kia. So the limitation is that adaptive cruise control is also an option. We've got some built-in Jesus grips here for off-roading, a digital dash, but in this middle of the range model there's no heads-up display. Mm. Look at this. This This is not a rear vision mirror, unless you do that. That is your rear vision mirror. Look, wave hello to the pretty people. But if you do this, like your old day and night prismatic, it switches the camera on, which is located in the aerial in the back. This shelf is unusual, isn't it, Alan, that it's not the enclosed glove no. box? Well, there's an enclosed glove box down below, of course, mm. but this is just a little shelf for things with yet another USB, so you could have some more gear in there. But you'll notice that the screen is just a screen there, so you can put your hand in behind it. How does it drive? It's very easy to drive. This does have adjustable air suspension. If you put that on the lowest setting, it squats when you get out the other day when we were on a bush track but some of it was quite rough and I raised the level of this car so that it was at off-road height and it gave us an extra few inches. The rest of these controls are similarly clever. If you push this button it turns into the fan and otherwise it is the seat heating and cooling. I think that's just genius. They've given everything double function. And of course, this is a full four-wheel drive, so it's got low range. This, this has got a decent-sized fuel tank, but uh, what's the fuel consumption at the moment? 14.5. Mm. Ouch. And I've tried to be... I've used a very light foot, but this is a turbocharged six-cylinder engine. It's a straight six. Mm. It reminds me of one of those old Jaguar E-Type engines just it gets that little bit of a little bit of a pleasing buzz up and that eight speed, speed. automatic is an absolute pinch. When David pulled up just then he was able to push his foot further to the floor on the brake and the brake hole system activated so it's always on unlike some brands where you've got to activate it. Steering is nice but a little vague because of the off-road tires very very big off-road tyres but I think Jen ah now that little beep just then mm-hmm. that was a very discreet Jaguar Land Rover there's a camera coming oh okay yes. unlike other brands we could name Lexus where it gives you a <laughs> bong and then another bong and then a bing bong and then a loud announcement and then a bong as you're going through it then a bing bong just when you're coming to the end and another bing bong and another announcement, and if it's a dark area or a school zone, it'll tell you where you are as if you didn't know where you are after the bing bong and the announcement and the bing bong and another announcement. Are, are you suggesting perhaps it's a little overkill? Less is more now that we've spent a fortnight in this magnificent Land Rover Defender. It can literally go anywhere. And I say literally because it can actually go anywhere. What do you think? I think I particularly like the fact that it's a distinctive car in its own right. Yeah. That it's not just a Land Rover Sport with a Defender name and chunky tyres. Absolutely. Well, you, you know, I'm very, very, very angry with Jaguar Land Rover. Mm-hmm. I'm angry, David. Oh, why, Alan? Because my previous favourite SUV was a Range Rover. Now I've got bloody choice. I don't want choice, I just want lesser things. But they're different cars, a Range Rover. No, we... I'd want this. People are looking at us. People have stopped to take photos of this. Mm. You're driving around in a Range Rover. Like, you know, every footballer known to mankind has a Range Rover. But only classy people have a Land Rover Defender. I think in the main, we both like this car a lot. I wanted to touch it inappropriately. I did. I wanted to. T- no, the car. Mm. I wanted to the car mm. inappropriately. Mm. Oh, so, so hard to get good help. Even, but, even I knew you would. <laughs> that you didn't mean me. Well, David can be a bit slow. But what's not slow 
is this Land Rover Defender. And if you've liked our film... Yes, you should make a comment. And? Press like. And? And then subscribe. And uh, where will they subscribe? I think if you come this way, we can subscribe just up there.